What's up guys, Champ here bringing you Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today we're going to be going over how to get a high KD on the map Stronghold. I'm going to be teaching you guys all the tips and little tricks that I've learned on how to play on this map specifically. This game I go completely off on the other team and I end up finishing 58 and 2. I actually take my first step right here real early in the game and then I get a really big streak die one more time and then finish off. I'm going to teach you guys exactly how I did it so you can come out here and play Stronghold and get high KDs just like I do. First tip and probably the most important tip is don't do what I just did. Yeah, I ran out. I grabbed B the first time. I should have just left it at that because getting B is a very important part. You need to have map control. Losing Having B. B is very important in domination, but I should never ran back by B. Truthfully, you don't really even want to go by B at all. That's the open area. That's where you can get killed by so many different angles. So I would say stay completely away from that B spot this whole entire game doesn't just go for domination this is for any single time you're trying to get a high KD on this map you completely stay away from that B area what you want to next do is pick which flank you want to go I always like to go with the flank this way this way you can get there real quick and real easy with that wall run like I just did and that tends to be a little campy on the other side of this map Look, we're already on the other side of spawn and we're capping the next base now we are right where we want to be for the rest of the game. We want to stay around this middle house area. I patrol the downstairs mainly and I wait for them to come to A or I wait for them to pop in coming from C. Either way, they have to go through the house at all times. So being in there puts you in a real great position to get easy kills. And I'm definitely not saying just camp in there. I'm saying that's where you want to be until you see spots appear on the mini map. Once you see those spots on the mini map and you feel like you've got a good way to approach them, you go and attack them. Sometimes you get lucky and they pop right in right there. You're behind that couch or just waiting for them. You're good to go. Always pay attention to the mini map though. That's your key. That's what's going to tell you where they're coming from. That's what's going to tell you which way to be looking. See right there, I saw they were taking A. But what did I do? I ran up on them. But I didn't run up on them where I was going to meet them head up. I flanked around, waited till they went around the corner, and I came up behind them. Popped my focus and got two easy kills. Once you got the hater up, if they already have the base, the best thing to do is just be patient and wait for them to rush you. Get a few easy kills and try to isolate them one on one battles if possible. If there's two people and they're both not facing you, that's okay too. You don't want to go and approach the whole entire team. That's not going to work out for you. I know they're all in that garage over there. I'm going to pop up to this corner and I'm going to wait for them to come to me a little bit. Are they all just spawners? The best thing for me to do is to back up. See how my wraps are all around? I'm going to let my wraps take care of business. Why not? That's what the score streaks are there for. You might as well let them push up for you. In that instance, the wraps took care of all three of them. Sometimes the wraps will only take out one or two, but then you could push it and take out the rest. Remember, when the wraps are up, they're going to be spawn flipping left and right, left and right. So I ran back to the house, and what did they do? They spawn right behind me. Now what I'm doing is using this tank a little bit as cover while I take out these two guys. I see that they're coming well from this garage, so I back up into this corner again and start taking them out. Playing it safe. I want to keep my streak alive. That's the whole point for trying to get a high KD. I just picked up the ruthless metal and the half is about to end, so I do want to play it safe. I want to keep this streak alive. Also, I'm pretty sure these guys are figuring out what I've been doing lately. So there it is. I'm 33 and 1. I will say right now that half this game I got from theater mode, and then right now I realized I wasn't recording, so I pushed that button, so the other half will be regular. The only real difference is our guy, my teammate, is now blue on the minimap because I am playing with one friend. I also wanted to make sure I was recording so you could see who I was playing against, what rank they are, how high up, and all that stuff, you know. 
So what am I doing here? I'm back in the house. I knew I was near my streaks and where am I? I'm right back in my spot. I don't mind pressing up a little bit in this area, but I'm not going to go too far because I know all the action happens right around here. And I'm also pretty sure the spawn will flip eventually. There it goes. The spawn just flips. You can see it on the mini-map. My guys are going over there taking C. So I'm going to go over here. I'm not just going to run out on them. I'm going to take it a little wider, flank it a little bit. Don't know how many people are going to be over there. Right now I see one only, so I feel like it's okay. I pop my focus. I take him out. See my raps going after the other guy. So I said, let me try to get him while he's shooting the raps. I take him out again. Notice I never pushed into that garage area and I'm not going to. I only hover around it because I know that's a heavy spawn area. With the wraps up, the spawn is going to constantly flip. That's what they do. So there's no point of trying to run from one side of the map to the other side of the map. Just go back into this house right here. And wait it out until you think, alright, they're either coming from A or they're coming from C. There you go, they're trying to take A, so now I know where they're coming from. So I go for the flank route on them. Don't try to face them head up through that door right there. Nine out of ten times, that's where they're going to be facing. Every once in a while, you will face a smart guy who just is a little better than other people, like this guy, trying to face at me that way. He was prepared, but I still got him right there because I was just a little better than him in that moment. I just got a King Slayer medal, so he is the best player on their team. I also just picked up Relentless. I'm on a 21 streak right now, so I'm doing pretty good with both my gun and with my score streaks right now. The Rafe goes off for me. Gets me another set of wraps. So I throw the wraps up. I know the Rafe's up. I'm not going to press out through that snowy area right there. That's a little bit dangerous right there, too. Almost as dangerous as B. So I'm going to go back to A. A's been doing good for me this whole time. Why not? And this play right here was a little confusing to me. This guy turned around like as if he had the hater on. Like he already knew I was there. I thought about it for a little bit. Maybe he was trying to shoot the raps and I just stepped into his fire. Or maybe my teammate shot some bullets and he saw him on the mini map. Either way, that's Call of Duty timing for you and you can't do nothing about it. We still ended up going 58 and that's only my second death of the game. So that's a pretty good kill death ratio right there. If you do the math, that's a 29 KD, which is really good on any map. To go over what we learned today, most importantly, stay away from B. Pick a side that you feel most comfortable with and stay with that side. Get your score streaks and don't run back and forth from C to A, C to A. Wait for your score streaks to kill them, then wait for them to come to you. Hang out in that building area most of the time. That's the key place in this whole entire map. Everybody needs to go through there. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you learned something and you want to see more, subscribe to me. I'm going to be posting more videos on how to get a high KD on every single level. I also got plenty of 100 pluses. This has been Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.